you will be filled with power and you will be witnesses of me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Verse 9. After saying this, he was taken up to heaven as they watched him, and a cloud hid him from their sight. They still had their eyes fixed on the sky as he went away. When two men dressed in white suddenly stood beside them and said, Galileans, why are you standing there looking up at the sky? This Jesus who was taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way that you saw him go to heaven. This story is the story of the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ into heaven. And this event took place 40 days after the resurrection of Christ. When Jesus Christ resurrected, we, we rejoiced. We were happy. We believed that our sins were wiped away. We believed that as Christ resurrected, our sins were taken away. Forgiveness came. Now, when you look at this ascension, there is a significance. It signifies the glorification and the exaltation of Jesus. But remember that when Jesus Christ died for us, he paid the sin. He paid for our sins. He paid the price. Now, if this ascension signifies glorification and exaltation of Jesus, because in Christ we are now what? We are now whole. So everything that happens to Christ is more like representing us. So because we are Christ, we are also what? Glorified and we are also what? Exalted. Because for Christ to come and pay that price, he has given us the ability to have another life. And that life is in him. So now we share the same life with Christ. And Christ is God. And Christ is the Holy Spirit. Because they are three in one. So 